are you sort of are you open to innovations like that, or you know, obviously the women's games are doing so well at the moment. And are you sort of would you like to see more change, or are you sort of happy with where it's at at the moment? And you think it's just going to get better? Oh well, it's it's in a pretty good spot at the moment, but I, I suppose there's always you know room for improvement. And if people come up with some some cool ideas, and um, yeah, if they've got a little bit of merit behind them, and and you've sort of you know, you've trialled them and, and they work, then, then why not? Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's not a, that's not a drastic change, I don't think, with the ball. Um, and it's just something potentially that makes it a, a bit of a better product for the crowds, um, yeah, if it comes good. Cool, thank you. Just to sort of follow up what Marty was asking really about the, the, the ideas and things, do, do you think there's any sort of scope for tinkering more at a more junior level um, of, of the women's game or, or the under or un, underage sort of levels of the women's game so that you encourage people to keep playing. They don't get maybe put off by some of the elements of the game. They perhaps find a bit harder to adjust to and then perhaps at the higher levels, it, it stays a bit more as it is. Do you think there's scope for a, maybe not a one-size-fits-all model? Oh, I, yeah, so I think they sort of already do that now with all the... Um, sort of junior leagues are always mucking around with, you know, different formats, shorter formats or whatever it may be, um, you know, with the Woolworth, Woolworth Cricket Blast stuff. Like, there's all different rules for juniors to sort of keep them interested, keep it a bit more um, fun. So, yeah, I suppose if they, you know, trial things there and if, if they go really well, then potentially, um, yeah, bring them up to sort of the higher levels and, and see how it goes there. But, yeah, I think it's really cool that they're sort of talking about different things, you know, whether it comes into play or not um, is a different story, but it's good to see that they're still sort of thinking outside the box and, um, yeah, trying to make the game the best possible product it can be. Just on just on your side, personal game now and things, I mean, I think when we chatted a, a couple of months ago when you chatted to us, you were kind of looking forward to a bit of a, a break after the intensity of the World Cup and, and everything. Has it felt like quite a long break now and are you quite excited to be able to get back into some training? Well, it, yeah, it's sort of, it's been a long break, but it's actually gone really quick. Not that I've actually done anything too exciting. It's kind of been Groundhog Day every day. But um, yeah, I am looking forward to getting back into things. Um, I feel like we're probably one of the la um, last states to sort of get back into it. We don't go back until Monday just through restrictions and things like that. So um, yeah, we've got a, a pretty new group. Um, down here in Taz as well. So I'm um, excited to sort of get in there on Monday and get started and sort of actually train with other people as opposed to sort of doing my own thing. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to get in there on Monday and see everyone.